everybody. Here we are for round three. We've lost the die roll. Our opponent is playing first, and we've got an okay keepable hand. We've got a Sinister Concoction and uh, three cards that we would like to discard. So I think we'll keep. And our opponent has said hello. All right. So I think we will probably put down the Concoction. And then... We need another land in order to get out the twins or the bidding. Hey, Triskaidekaphobia, how you doing? You could do some fun stuff. Uh, yeah, let's put down the concoction, show that we have it. We're up against green what? Green red. All right, again. Hinterland Logger, you got it. Deadweight? Yeah, I'll deadweight it. Why not? Seems like a pretty solid target for a dead weight. Oh, I would love to win by th with this just once. Need to get seven damage to him. Dead weighted. So, next turn, I think it will be Swamp and Pass the Turn. Ulrich's Kindred, A. Eh? Uh, yeah, we're going to pass the turn. We're going to try to get a two for one here. Sinister concoction, kill something, burn the other thing. Seems like a decent enough play. Hit me for three. You got it. Play a creature. Please play a creature. Yeah, Quilled Wolf sounds good. All right, so we are going to Sinister Concoction the Kindred by discarding the Temper, casting the Temper to blow up the wolf. Board wipe. And then we're going to drop a Sin Prodder because we can. Follow that up with a Geese's Bidding. And try to get him to 13. Ooh, pass the turn. No four drop. Swamp. You are not going to let me have that. And I draw one anyways. In for three. Got there. Uh, yeah, let's do bidding. Owl pack resurgence flashed in. You got it. So, if I can get in for three, which I will be able to do, Swamp, you're not going to let me have that. Ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could take him to seven. Just say whatever, Triskaidekaphobia. Um, I don't quite feel like that's the play, though. I could hit him for five, take him to thirteen, or take him to twelve, and then plus one. Yeah, I like that play. In with the the team. He'll block and kill a zombie. Because why not? He will block and kill a zombie, and he will go to 12. I will drop a twins. Pass the turn. Next turn, I can drop Tris Triskaidekaphobia. And then I guess it's like two full turns before he loses, right? I'll take six here, go to 10. I do need to be careful of an uncaged fury at some point, I think. Thornhide Wolves, you got it. Olivia's Bloodsworn. Ooh, that's a problem. He could willingly take damage off of a card. Yeah, that changes my entire plan now, doesn't it? But 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, we just win with a duelist. Sorry, Triskaidekaphobia, not today. Or at least not this game. Got there, all right. 
Not the fancy way I wanted to win, but I'll take a, a quick game one win with that. So he is on the red-green werewolves plan, so dual shot certainly doesn't do anything. Magmatic Chasm, maybe, but I don't think so. I think we just go back in and we try to be faster than him. No sideboard from him, I like it. Ooh, that's way too many lands for us. That's not something that I would call a keepable hand. Gonna have to mull. Uh, that's much better. Much better. We'll keep it. He's kept his six. He's going to scry to the top, and we are going to scry, I think, to the top. I, I kind of want that mountain. I don't want to be without a mountain. So to the top you go. No one drop. Cool. No one drop from me either. Well, I have one, but it's not playable. Should be playable here, though. Ooh, no two drop. Okay. Triskaidekaphobia. We've got another chance. What you got? Convicted killer. Sounds like a deadweight target to me. Boop. I want to win with Triskaidekaphobia. Solitary hunter. You got it. I will play... What will I play? <sighs> Do I just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him? Do I drop a Voldaren Duelist? Or do I drop a couple of zombies? A couple zombies could double block the hunter. Let's go with a couple zombies, but we're going to fall behind here pretty quick. He's down to three cards, though. It's not like he's guaranteed to have Hellpack Resurgence in hand. Right? Question mark. Got Staff Arsonist, though. Pretty good. Pretty good. No attack. So we successfully fended him off a little tiny bit. Uh, we will drop the twinsies. Pass the turn. They're going to flip at some point, and it's going to be bad news. Oh, rabbit bite. I'm going to double block those arsonists so hard. Boop and boop. Don't have a trick. Don't do it. Don't do it to me. Oh, he did have it. Gross. Blow out. So, we're going to go to 10 next turn. Gross. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just dead. Just dead. So I can block 9, or I can block 1 and take 9 and go to 5. One's not worth it. I'll go to four. So once again, if you have the uncommon that is required for your deck to work, you win. If you don't, you lose. Um, I'm just dead, right? Uh, six, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I could block uh, four of it. Yes, I'm very dead. That's unfortunate. Uh, we need to be fast. Very, very, very fast. Um, is there anything I can do about that? I don't think so. I think we just need a better hand. And we need him to not curve out like that. Uh, yeah. Submit the deck. Let's try again. Let's hope he doesn't get the Hellpack Resurgence. I would love to play first. I would love to keep this hand. Turn two Falcon Wrath with a, uh, a Fiery Temper in hand. That's something I like. If he stumbles in any way, we can just Castigator. Get in. Heir of the Falcon Wrath. No two drop, perfect. I will get in for two. Pass the turn. Pretend that I forgot to flip it. Ulrich's Kindred, you got it. End of your turn. Flippity dippity. Discard the temper. Boop your face. Well, not hit your face. Boop the wolf's face. 
And I think I might drop the Castigator, to be honest. Get in for 7, take him to 11. Seems fine. And I don't have anything else in hand anyways. I need to win, basically, in the next two turns. Ooh. No 4-drop for reals? For reals for reals? But why? 7? Got there. What what did what do you have? Pack Guardian, okay. So you could hit me for twelve. But you still need to kill the gold knight. Moonlight hunt? I think even if he kills the castigator I still win, right? I can macabre waltz it back. Yeah. Uh, Voldaren Duelist for the extra wins. I assume he has an aim high or something. A answer? What does he have? Oh, we just got there. Cool. <laughs> we got there. Super speedy with Castigator being the thing we needed to win. Uh, yeah, we 3 0 would 3 and owed in a format that I'm still iffy on because I still think it's just so totally based around those uncommons. We got the Incorrigible Youths and the uh, uh, the Heir of Falconrath, and we won. If we didn't have those two cards, I don't think I would have won. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this format. Hopefully in draft, you can just consistently get those uncommons that you need. You kind of really need to be kind of keeping your eye out for which ones are coming around. I think in Sealed, the fact that you can just totally whiff on the required on commons means that the Sealed pools are just so swingy and why I think I will continue to stay away from that format. But as long as you can consistently get what you need in draft, I think it will be a pretty decent draft format. Just keep your eyes open for those cards. There are key, 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 key signals. Uh, we saw that era of Falconrath. I think it was third or fourth pick. It, it seemed relatively late, so I jumped on it and black happened to be open. But definitely let me know what your experiences are with Shadows Over Innistrad. Let me know if I did anything wrong in this. I'm sure I did uh, in the comments below. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can find me on Twitter at the Manaleek. That's L-E-E-K, like the vegetable, not the card. And you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Manaleek. You've already found me here on YouTube. You've got that comment section down below. Please make use of it. As well, if you enjoy my videos, click that little thumbs up icon. That makes me feel good. It also helps my videos rise up through the ranks. And as well, if you haven't subscribed, you should. There's a button below each video. There's one in the outro of each video, and that'll keep you updated on all the latest videos as they get posted. But as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, see you all next time.